Wow, so I came out here with this new Rapala and got a very large chain pickerel, unexpectedly big. I'm gonna try to get him free quickly. Well, I didn't even plan on filming today. I don't even have my GoPro with me or anything, but I just stopped by this little neighborhood park uh, on my way running some errands decided to put a line in the water and lo and behold it is slime shark central chain pickerels everywhere so I wanted to take a quick minute and uh, show you what I'm using and how I'm retrieving uh, so that if you're interested in catching chain pickerels in uh, the Northeast in the fall this might be helpful for you as well this is a Rapala I, I'm gonna have to look up exactly which one it is what I like about this lure is that it really has a lot of blue on the top of it and then it has this orange underbelly this, I think, is uh, imitating like a red-breasted sunfish or something like that, or a bluegill to these um, chain pickerel that are here in this little pond. Uh, I'm going to show you actually the pond itself. It's a pretty small pond, so, you know, a neighborhood park. Um, but these guys really like up in this willow area. Uh, they are usually hanging out here waiting to ambush prey as it comes by. So what I'm doing is making pretty short casts and just ripping it back kind of fast. Uh, usually they hit it real close to me, like three feet from shore. Um, so it is working really well. I've caught, I think, six chain pickerel in this little park here and uh, they fight. This last one was a big guy. So uh, that is the lure that I'm using, it is Rapala. I'll find the actual name of this one and put it in the video as well. I'll also put a link um, in the description so that you can buy it through Amazon. If you buy it through our Amazon link, we get a couple pennies, so that would be really appreciated. You'll notice I actually have this lure on a snap swivel. Uh, that is not necessarily for the action, although it, it probably does help the action a little bit. Um, it's really to keep the chain pickerels from biting off the line, even though I'm using 20 pound braid. Earlier this morning I was throwing spinner baits for bass and a big chain pickerel came and just bit me right off. So I switched to this lure um, with the snap swivel and been catching them ever since. Definitely want to be using braid for these guys. I'll go over my gear as well. I'm not using anything fancy today. <laughs> I'm actually using one of my kids old fishing rods which is like the cheapest no-name Apache tomahawk my husband bought this at like L.O. bean or something i don't know um it is a two-piece five foot rod just a little tiny nothing um pretty light action though which makes it a lot of fun i have this paired with a, a reel that i'm going to be doing a review on this is the cheapest shimano reel in history it is a 15 dollar shimano <laughs> um and i'm testing it out so i'm going to be doing a review on this so cheapest shimano ever kids re rod Rapala Husky Jerk Bait, 20 pound braid. That's the story. But I have a big chain pickerel here on the line. I don't know if you can see him. I hope you can. He's stuck in these in this grass here. I'm gonna have to try to go in and get him to get him loose. My lure is actually out. Um, I'm gonna take my life in my hands here because these guys have big old teeth. But I'm gonna try to spook him out of here. Actually, maybe I'll just use my rod butt. Come on, dude. Go on. Go on. Go on. Okay, I got him out. I had to put the camera down. Use my hand, because I'm brave like that. <laughs> and uh, he swam away back into the water, so I feel better. And while I was there, I took the opportunity to uh, clean up after. Like seriously, a basketball and a bottle. This TJ Maxx bag was over down, down that way and I picked it up already. So I'm gonna put this crap in there and throw it away like any normal human being would do. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Um, hit that little notification bell to know every time we upload a new video. We upload about once or twice a week and we cover all sorts of fishing topics including fishing with kids, fly fishing, spin fishing, um, both salt and freshwater. So uh, thanks again for tuning in. We are so glad you joined us today. Bye!